What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Casey and well look look whose Jeep's back in the garage. We have uh, Mark's Jeep here today and we're gonna be doing an install of this Cobra CB radio. Uh, why do we need this? Well Mark doesn't have any communications in his Jeep. I'm actually gonna be installing one of these in my Jeep uh, probably next weekend or the weekend after but we need these to actually be uh, fully in compliance with the requirements of Jeep Jamboree. We're gonna be heading down to Oregon in a few weeks. I think it's uh, June 5th or 6th. And one of the requirements for all the rigs entering into a Jeep Jamboree is you need a CB radio. Uh, so we kind of picked up these. They're about 100, 120 bucks on Amazon in Canadian. So I don't know what they are uh, down in the States. Probably a little bit cheaper, obviously with the exchange rate. But uh, we're gonna get started. We're gonna wire this up figure out where we're gonna mount it. And uh, well, we won't have anything to test it with because I don't have mine yet. But anyways, we'll test it soon, I'm sure. So we've got the radio, which is, uh, this is a very compact unit. It uh, really is just, most of it is contained in the actual handheld microphone. And it has a little, I don't know, what do we call that? Power block or antenna block or something like that. that goes with it. What else did we get? It's got CB cable basically for the antenna so we can run it to the back of the Jeep where we're going to mount the antenna. A stud. <laughs> uh, that's uh, basically just to be able to connect the cable up to we've got a uh, was it 36 inch fire stick. Uh, it's basically just a pretty standard CB antenna. So I've never installed one of these radios before. I did install a VHF radio in my Jeep. It wasn't too bad. I think this, if I can get the plastic out of this thing. We basically just need to get power to this little box. We gotta find somewhere that's relatively close to mount it to this microphone. And that's all there is to this unit, guys. There's, it's pretty basic, real simple, just how we want it. This came with a little inline fuse. Now we are gonna fuse this close to the battery on the uh, on the positive side. So it does have a little inline fuse, a disconnect of some sort here, but essentially we are going to fuse this. You always wanna fuse it as close to the battery as you can, just in case there's a short out. And we've got a little, just a little microphone clip. The first thing we're gonna, I think, try to do is just figure out how much of this antenna cable we have to work with, um, because, well, I'm pretty sure this this is long enough for where we need it to go, but we kind of got to figure out a way to route this uh, from. Well, if we're gonna mount the microphone here on the dash, this is gonna have to go somewhere underneath to that little control box. Uh, or power box or what I don't know what it's called but anyways wherever that goes is where we have to get the antenna cable to so before we kind of fix anything and do any uh, power wiring I'm gonna run the cable now on mine on my VHF I had run it across the top bar down the A pillar and down along the side here I think with this we'll probably have the control box under the dash here so we'll just start roughing in routing the microphone cable or the antenna cable um, under this plastic panel here and around to the back and what did we decide for what do we have for mounting oh, the antenna? We locked out our uh, tire carrier here. Oh yes. Has oh yeah yeah, yeah right little... yeah so <laughs> now I've, I don't know if you guys remember when we installed the tire carrier we left this just generic piece of wire here uh, I don't know if that's gonna help us though we were going to use this for pulling the cable through for our future antenna installation because we do have on the Evo carrier an antenna mount, but the ends on that are pretty fat. So hopefully we can get that through this little hole, but we did leave this fish wire here because otherwise getting a wire out to here with this tire carrier is um, pretty much impossible without taking it off. So I'm hoping we can rope and pull that through. So we're just using our wire that we fished before, very smartly, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's just going to let us pull this antenna cable through the tailgate 
behind the tire carrier to the little hole that's in the back, hopefully without any problems. All right, now we can get a better look at just where we're trying to route it through because we're really having a hard time getting our fingers in there. So actually it comes down the bottom, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh, there it is. There we go, look at that. I think we uh, ran that fish wire <laughs> when we were installing the tire carrier. <laughs> that would have been a nightmare. That uh, would have been pretty much impossible. So there it goes. There you go, guys, a little uh, planning ahead just saved us uh, probably a good two hours of removing this tire care to be able to put this CB wire in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've basically got the CB antenna through the tailgate nicely, cleanly routed. We can kind of hook it up with the rest of these wires here. And then we'll, uh, we're gonna pull this roof back so we can hop in. But we're basically just gonna, it's a real simple path along the top of the fender well down the rear passenger compartment under the plastic along the door trim and it's a straight shot all the way to the front putting this little adapter or whatever it's called the stud uh, I'm just gonna connect this to the antenna cable and pop this through this hole this is a real tight fit though holy moly uh, I think this is the right configuration we'll double check later but Basically, this is just gonna keep our wire from running away from us back into the tire car, because that would be really annoying. Perfect, look how clean that is, and we're slapped the antenna on there. Just got, uh, this is a pretty common um, CB antenna from what I could research, it's just a fire stick. Uh, I don't know much about CB radios, but 5 8 wave. It's a 36 inch antenna, which I, just um, reading on the forums and other jeepers seems to be a pretty common length so that it's not ridiculously high. As you can see, this one here would just hit my garage door coming in. Let's screw that guy into place. And we'll put this uh, fancy little fire stick do that on the top. There you go. That went far too easy. Mark is just trying to get the CB cable under the plastic and under the carpet. Look at that timing. We'll just pull this through here and we're just following along on the bottom of this uh, plastic trim. So we just gotta figure out where we're gonna stick this guy. Which is basically where we're gonna wire the power to. This goes to the uh, microphone, which has all the electronics in it, and we've just got to hook our antenna to it. Uh, I'm just looking at the best way to route the wire. Uh, I've gone, there's two ways, well actually there's three ways with the automatic because you don't have a um, clutch pedal hole in your firewall. So there's actually a huge hole that the automatics can use in the firewall over on the driver's side. But both of the cowls have these little holes through them. Uh, if you haven't put anything before, uh, through it, it's probably got some foam in it, which you just have to jam out with a screwdriver. But the previous owner has routed very nicely through a grommet and everything, a power wire already. But we're gonna be able to probably use this, depending on what it's connected to, to route our wire. And on the other side here, we're basically just, oh, there's nothing connected to it. So we can actually just use that. Uh, you can see, you can see there the hole that's uh, in the firewall really convenient spot especially because we're going to be mounting the base to the cb down here and we're just going to use this wire to pull our 14 gauge wire through we're just going to wire the cb directly to the battery so we'll put a little fuse did you get a fuse hold fuse holder no no we might need to get a fuse holder <laughs> i might actually have some laying around so we'll just put a fuse i gotta check the instructions to see what amperage fuse it's going to need. It's probably something low, like a 10 amp. Um, so we're just gonna use this existing wiring. If you don't, what I suggest is you just take a screwdriver and jam it through to knock out some of the foam. And then if you have a fish tape or coat hanger or something, you can then pull the wire through with it. But we're just gonna, Mark is just nicely tying these together. And 
and we're just going to use this other wire because we have no idea what it's for or what it, it doesn't go anywhere. So we're just going to pull it back through, use that as our fish wire, and get this wire into the engine bay. Oh, we're good. Look at that. Overkill. Overkill on the twisting of wires and tape. But it's nothing worse than losing your fish wire uh, halfway through fishing your wire. <laughs> there you go. We got our power wire. We'll just pull some extra through here. We got lots. Um, we're gonna have to figure out a fuse situation for this, but no big deal. Honestly, getting the wire into the engine bay uh, it, half the time is the challenge. It's pretty easy on these Jeeps. Uh, it's pr really easy with the thin gauge wire. Uh, it's a lot harder if you have to run like a one or two gauge wire to something larger. Uh, that's why it's uh, on these autos you have that hole where the clutch pedal would have been which is like this big so you get tons of wires through which i've actually filled up completely with mine but anyways um we're yeah we'll just uh keep plugging away power was a hard thing i just got to find a fuse holder for this and then uh mark has to figure out where he's going to zip tie the control box or the power box whatever it's called so Mark already has this mount here for his radio. We just brought the cable down under here, right it on here, we just pull the carpet back. Now, if you take your hand and just pull this, you've got nice, easy access. We just took the control box, we put it, basically put it underneath here. Um, it's gonna wedge that in place, we'll zip tie that later. This is an old, an old CB antenna from the previous owner we're not using, but we just have the CB wire basically, uh, the antenna wire along the plastic. We're just gonna tuck it behind, tuck it behind there, up underneath the glove box. And we've got our power that we just routed through here. And we're just gonna trim this to the right length wire it up to this guy that we have here and we'll just ground it out to the firewall and that's it all right that pretty much wraps up the install of that uh real simple quick uh installation of that cobra cb radio probably get it done in about an hour or so really probably one of the simplest installs you can do um, on your Jeep. And uh, if the rest of the people that you're wheeling with are running CB radios, this is a pretty good, really low cost, easy to mount option. Uh, we'll test it out when we're at Jeep Jamboree to see what the reception is like and just overall quality. I know a lot of people like to get a more powerful unit. Uh, several, there's just tons of different CB models out there, but if you're not using it all the time and you just need something in your Jeep for an alternative form of communication and want a CB radio, this looks like a pretty good option. I'll leave some links down in the description below. Um, you can find this on Amazon It's uh, if you want to order it there and all the little pieces that we used in this installation to be able to mount the antenna as well as the little stud, the cable or the antenna cable as well as the radio itself if you want to check it out yourself with all that said thanks so much for watching this week's video guys make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel i would love to have you as a subscriber here if you are make sure you have those notifications turned on i do upload a new video every monday morning so make sure you're not missing any of those and if you enjoyed this one leave a like i do appreciate it any questions or comments leave them down below i check comments every day and i try to answer uh, as many questions as I can and help you out as much as possible. Thanks so much for watching this upload. I'll see you guys in the next video.